Not many people know that the world famous Russian aircraft manufacturer Mikoyan also built a prototype of fifth generation fighter, the Project 144 or MiG 144. The Project 144 was born at the same time as the Su 47. Unfortunately, both aircraft did not qualify the mass production. While the Su-47 had technical problems in the forward square wing design, the MiG-144 had problems in manufacturing costs. The MiG-144 was once expected to be a competitor to the US F-22 Raptor, but failed when the Part F-A program was introduced. It was born as a technology demonstrator developed by the Mikoyan Design Bureau. Project 144 was the Soviet Union's answer to the US Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF incorporating many fifth-generation jet fighters aspects, such as advanced avionics, star technology, super maneuverability, and super cruise. The design's development was a protracted one, characterized by repeated and lengthy postponements due to a chronic lack of funds. The MiG-144 made its maiden flight in February 2000, nine years behind schedule, and was cancelled later that year. The fighter jet has only a single seat. It had a length of 19 meters, a wingspan of 15 meters, and a height of 4.5 meters. The MiG-144 had an empty weight of 18 tons and a maximum takeoff weight of up to 35 tons. The MiG-144 was powered by Chu Lai Erka AL-41F afterburning turbofan engines, producing 176 kN H with afterburner. The aircraft could reach a maximum speed of Mark 2.24, a range of 4,000 km, and a service ceiling of 17,000 meters. The fighter was equipped with a glass cockpit and features a power doubler radar. The N014 radar with a range of 420 km and target detection from 250 km to 1 meters was able to track up to 40 targets and shot against 20. The radar system has a passive electronically scanned array antenna and is linked to a fire control system. With a payload of about 10 tons of weapons, including one 30mm GSH-31 autocannon with 250 rounds. Missiles include R-77, R-73, and R-37 air to air missiles. The MiG-144 carried two tons more than the Russian Su-57 and the US F-22. Basically, the MiG-144 could carry most of the weapons intended for Russian fighters. Unfortunately, due to the high cost, the MiG-144 was defeated by the rival Sukhoi Park FA, now the Su-57. It failed, but the technology served the MiG-144 and Su-47 were applied to the Su-57. Recently, the US site Popular Mechanics 
highly appreciated the MiG-144 fighter and said that this fighter can fight on par with the F-22. Some analysts said that the failure of the MiG-144 was due to Russia's limited defense budget at that time, which did not allow the country to develop two fifth-generation fighter projects at the same time. MiG-144 loss to the Su-57 partly because the Sukhoi's financial capacity was much stronger than that of the Mikoyan. Sukhoi fighters such as the Su-27, Su-30 were selling well, while the MiG-29 had fallen behind. The lack of money prevented Mikoyan from continuing with the Project 144. Now, Russia's economic potential has grown to a new level. They can completely continue the MiG-144 fighter project, if they wish. There is also an opinion that, instead of pouring money into the MiG-144, Russia only needs to speed up the completion of the Su-57. There is also information that Russia shown the technology on the MiG-144 to China to build the J-20. Defense Aviation Magazine said that even though Project 144 was frozen, the jet there got the attention of China. Excess money but lack of technology, Beijing for a long time sought to buy Soviet and Russian technology. There is reason to assume that Beijing used the MiG-144 data to develop its fifth-generation fighter. Defense Aviation said that the J-20 has unexpected similarities with the MiG-144 such as the Delta Wing and a V-shaped tail etc. The main difference between these two fighters is that the J-20 is priority in developing stealth capabilities, while the Russian design prioritizes air combat with super maneuverability. My video about the Russian MiG-144 answer Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.